Hello guys, my name is David and I'm the head coach of TDS, League of Legends. I'm David, I'm 23, I'm from Czech Republic and uh, it's my second time in LFL. Like I obviously was coaching in my home region, but then I moved as an assistant to Mirage Leandra and we didn't do well. So <laughs> then I came back and now I'm here as a, as a head coach and uh, I'm hoping to make it work this time. Um, how did I start league? I was playing hockey, like on, I would say, quite decent youth level. <laughs> because uh, it kind of runs in my family with uh, both my father and grandfather being professional players and they both turned coaches after. So at least I follow this line. But uh, I injured my knee when I was 14 and it kind of uh, made me into just chill at home. So I found out leak and then I got addicted and it's, it's something that I really enjoyed. And when I figured out that I don't really enjoy playing the game, but I still love the game. So I transitioned into coaching and this is kind of TLDR of my League of Legends story. How I started competition? I mean, I, I was playing a little bit on Czech ERL level and like Czech championship, but I was not the best. And uh, as I said, like then I figured out I don't really enjoy like playing the game itself. So I kind of helped my friends who were playing at the time. I was like being around trying to be trying to be coach because I still wanted to be close to the game and compete. And then uh, it kind of like escalated through that is that I was more involved with the teams and uh, uh, people start to notice me and I got like job offers, you know, so yeah, this is how I started. What do I do besides uh, besides coaching? Uh, I obviously spend a lot of time around the game because I think if you want to be good, you have to live the game. But uh, once I get my time off, I like to watch I like to watch football and uh, I spend time with my family, my girlfriend. We usually just uh, go out in the woods and uh, I just kind of turn off my brain this way. And uh, yeah, if there is a time, I like to go work out. <laughs> I think if someone wants to become a coach, he has to first understand the game deeply because I think this is like the necessity. If you want to be a coach, you have to understand the game at, at least uh, like a, a really decent level. And then it's all about figuring out what's your skill set because some of the coaches, their skill set is to work with people. Some of the coaches, it's to be really smart about the game. And uh, you need to figure out which type of coach you want to be and then just get, get good at your craft. Like you have to try, you have to get into teams, you have to make mistakes and make sure you learn from them. But uh, if there is someone who wants to be coach, I think it's also really important to realize that this is not the fun job. Like you also have to be ready to do the boring stuff, like watching 10 VODs and just looking for small stuff. So yeah, I think this is how you become a coach. To me, roster building is one of the most important things that comes into like being competitive. And uh, firstly, you have to make sure that the players you want are good enough. Like So you have to assess their in-game level. And then there is a lot of factors which you have to put into consideration. And it's uh, like per personality, you know, like you want to have you want to have some leaders within the team. You want to have some followers within the team because if you put too much too much leaders if you put five leaders the team is not gonna function so this is like the player profiles you have to put into consideration and then also personalities because when we are building a team you want to make sure that the team is seeing the game at least in a similar way like you want to you want to make sure that there is a balance between personalities but there is also a, like similar view on the game so i think yeah you have to put you have to consider all those factors and then you have the pool of the players and you are uh, like recognizing which player has which trait and um, yeah it's a lot about also like balancing and I, I think this is a really complicated process and uh, the more factors you are able to put into consideration, the better the roster dynamic is going to be. For me, it's really important to be in a competition. Like I really like competing. Being in French League means I get a lot of this competition because outside of LEC and uh, I would like to consider 
like the top teams in LVP also. Uh, this is the highest you can get in Europe. So I'm really happy that I can compete on this level. If you ask me, like this is the most competitive league because the teams are really close to each other. I think except uh, <laughs> last split BDS, they were really, really good and Casey. But uh, the league is really close to each other. And even though we didn't, we didn't make playoffs, we were just two wins away, you know? Like you are nine and you are two wins away from playoffs. So every, every match matters. Us going into summer, obviously I would I would not be good at my job if I said uh, I'm not happy with the changes, right? So obviously I think we made changes where it was necessary. I think we chose really good people. I think we chose really good players. Again, as I was saying in my previous answer, like this is LFL, everything is really close to each other. We have to see, but so far we've spent, we are spending second week together. And I think we are evol evolving both as individuals and both as a, as a team. So I think we can show great things and uh, I'm hoping we can also show what we learned. I'm really grateful you guys support us. Uh, being in LFL Days in Nice was, I would say, my best memory that I have from esports. It was really wonderful and we see you and we feel you guys supporting us even though it's not going great. So I really appreciate every single one of you and uh, you guys, last split you helped us a ton because without you we wouldn't really be able to keep going how we almost turned it around. In the end we didn't, but there is a great part on your, your guys' hands, so I'm really happy that I'm in CDS and we have a, such a great fans like you.